Good evening to all of you. A warm welcome to the second day of the Scout Week 2021 organized by the Sri Lanka Scout Association. 
Today is themed as the Day of Youth Involvement in Scouting and is hosted by the Colombo District Branch of the Sri Lanka Scout Association. I am Imaya Bogada and I will be hosting you today with my friend from the Colombo Scout Youth Advisory Group, Senior Scout Moad Himas. Before we start the proceeding, I would like to remind you that the meeting interpretations or translations are available for this webinar in Sinhalese and Tamil. And if you wish to listen to the webinar in Sinhalese or Tamil, please enable interpretation from the icon in the panel at the bottom of your screen. So let me say this in Sinhala as well. When the webinar is on the Sinhala, the Bamila Basha and Parivatan Labagani may have a good time to have a good time. एक निशा अब बेटे सिंगलिंग हो दामिले बास आविंग वेबिनार के बेटे सवान दी में टावाशिनाम खारुना करला अबे तेरे पहले पुरे ऐसे इंटरप्रेटेशन आइकन ने का साक्षी कर गाना। So on behalf of the Sri Lanka Scout Association and the Colombo District Branch, I warmly welcome the chief guest for today, Dr. Rajiv Peris, the International Commissioner of the Sri Lanka Scout Association, all of the commissioners from the national headquarters and district branches, scout leaders. Parents, well wishes, and my dear brother and sister scouts. Scouting today is the world's leading educational youth movement with over 57 million scouts across 172 national scout organizations. So, being a youth movement, youth involvement in decision making has always been a critical aspect of scouting. So, today, we will be sharing with you the success story of championing youth engagement in Columbus Scouting, which we believe would be an inspiration to all present. And also your valuable feedback will help us grow stronger in the future. So without further ado, I invite on screen the District Commissioner of Colombo, Mr. Amil Abesandara, to take you through the rationale for adopting youth engagement in Columbus Scouting. Thank you, Imaya. Good evening. As we all have heard over the years, scouting is a movement for young people supported by adults. We put the scout at the center of our movement. However, now we have more modernized version of this definition. This is scouting is a movement for young people by young people supported by adults. Therefore, it is a top priority to engage these young people, not only in youth programs, but also in governance and management of our movement as well. This is why Vision 2023 is out as one of its six strategic priorities. We have been promoting youth voice, youth participation, and youth involvement a long time. And at the start of last year, we took the futuristic step in order to champion youth engagement by appointing an assistant district commissioner in charge of youth engagement in Colombo for the first time and forming the Colombo South Youth Advisory Group known as CSEI. I'm proud to say that these steps have paid off in this group and have benefited immensely during the last one and a half years through the youth engagement initiative that we are going to share with you today. Throughout this journey, we have made sure that we take inspiration from the World Scout Youth Involvement Policy and Guidelines as well as rules and procedures of World and APR Youth Forum, which you can find in the World Scouting Web, scout.org. So enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So before we move on to the case studies of executions, let me take you through the youth engagement strategy of Colombo Scouts that is built on four pillars, which are the Colombo Scout Youth Forum, multi-troop leaders and rovermates meetings, rovering to success, and 
fostering external partnership. The Columbus Scout Youth Forum is an annual event in our year calendar, which creates a platform for senior and rover scouts of Colombo to interact and share experiences with each other whilst engaging in capacity building activities targeted towards grooming them to get involved in decision making. There are two direct outcomes from the Columbus Scout Youth Forum or the CSYF, which are the election of the Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group and the adoption of the forum rec recommendations. In terms of the forum recommendations, we adopted 20 recommendations at the second CSYF held last year, out of which 16 were implemented last year, with four being held up due to the COVID-19 pandemic, whereas we have adopted a further 23 recommendations at the third CSYF held in April this year. Talking about the Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group, which is the youth advisory arm of Sri Lanka Scout Association, Colombo District Branch, which is elected at the annual Colombo Scout Youth Forum and act as a supportive and a consultative body to the executive committee and the district commissioner on matters which involve the young people in scouting in the Colombo District Branch. The CSCI comprise of 13 members, including 10 senior scouts and three rover scouts from the Colombo district. Two out of the three rover scouts in the CSCI gets nominated to sit in the executive committee of the Colombo district branch in the capacity of youth representative, which enables youth to get involved in decision making, ma making at the highest level in the district. The CSCI organizes multiple youth led projects during the, during the year and last 15 uh, such projects were organized amid the, amidst the pandemic and lockdowns, whereas 16 such projects are planned for this year as well. Further, the CSCAG conducts youth engagement surveys um, among scouts and rovers in the district from time to time to get their opinion on matters that affect them. Three such youth engagement surveys were conducted last year to get the opinion of young people on the user interface or the UI of the Columbus Scouts website. The revised youth program for scouts and ex the expectation survey for the 55th Columbus Campery 2020. We have so far conducted one survey for this year as well, title, uh, this year as well titled Scouting Amidst the Third Wave of the Pandemic. Now, in order to give the opportunity to more young people to get involved within the district and within with the CSCAG, we have built three subcommittees under the CSCAG under the supervision of the relevant subject ADCs. These are the Marketing Subcommittee, International Subcommittee, and the Technology Subcommittee, with each subcommittee comprising of 10 members, where the chairperson is appointed from the CSCAG, whereas nine other members are selected through an application process. Moving to the next which is the monthly troop leaders and rover mates meeting. This is a two-way communication platform created for the TLs and RMs for the district to meet the district officials. The usual meeting agenda includes a knowledge sharing session, announcements from district officials, troop and crew updates from each TL and RM, TSEG monthly update, an open forum, as well as the newest addition, the Columbus Scout Success Stories. They are a successful project organized by a scout group or a rover crew in the district recently is featured. Now, before we speak about the other two pillars of our youth engagement strategy, let us now watch a brief video on the past Columbus Scout Youth Forum.
hope you enjoy that video. But as a participant of the last Columbus Scout Youth Forum, I can assure you that participating in a youth forum is much more enjoyable. Now, as Moad said, the Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group 2020-2021 elected at the second Columbus Scout Youth Forum 2020 organized a mammoth 15 projects during their tenure. So let's listen to what they have to say about their tenure from January last year to April this year. We are happy to present you the annual revival of the Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group for the year 2020-2021. We were elected at the second Columbus Scout Youth Forum held in January 2020. As the chairman of Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group, let me introduce you to the members of the Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group who worked with me during the last year. Saviru Jaisinghe, Vice Chairman, Communication. M.S. Ubedur Rahman, Vice Chairman, Group and Crew Engagement. Joanne Bernard, Secretary. Kevin Usena Ratna, Treasurer. Nilushan Krishnaram, Rover Representative. Janut Utsala, Rover Representative. Lavin Sanidu, Member. Nisin Virakon, Member. Salla Nasim, member. Chanupa Arambara, member. Sandhuru Aditya, member. At the last Columbus Scout Youth Forum, 20 recommendations were recognized. As the, as the Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group, we worked with the District Commissioner, ADC, and other district officials in order to implement this recommendation. I'm happy to say that we have implemented 16 of the 20 recommendations with, for being held up due to the COVID-19 situation in the country. Apart from implementing the recommendation, Columbus Scout Youth Advice Group implemented 15 projects during our period. Now I will invite my colleagues from Columbus Scout Youth Advice Group to present you to the those projects. First up, I hand over to Ubedur Rahman. Thank you, Chamon. First project I'm going to present is the Columbus Scout Virtual Out. This event was organized to take the singular and Tamil New Year spirit to the homes of Scout during COVID-19 pandemic situation. It started from 6th April and it ran up to 12th April with seven virtual events. The virtual tug of war is the most popular event which have participated 16 scout groups according to the knockout draw in Facebook poll. Finally, we have made a benchmark with 2,500 plus engagement in overall event. Moving on to the largest Christmas party, the event. This event was organized to build the team spirit of the youth engagement during 55th Columbus Scout Campery. 32nd Scout Group have engaged with us and it ends with two finals. This was held on 24th and 26th, 27th December using Facebook voting according to the account draw. Finally, monthly troop leaders and roommates meet. Monthly troop leaders and roommates meeting was held every month regularly from February. February 2022, March 21, with 12 meetings. And eight knowledge sharing sessions was done for troop leaders, which based on recommendations from Second Columbus Scout Youth Forum. At the beginning, we have, we have started with 23 scout groups, and it grows up to 44 scout groups and role crews in Columbus District have engaged with our CSA activities and meetings regularly. That's all from my end. I hand over to Saviru to continue this. Saviru. I will be starting off with the Vipal Tiag Mac newsletter launch, published in order to communicate the CSA news to scouts in the district. First edition was successfully launched in the month of May, featuring many exciting news and 
projects done by the CSAC within the first four months as an extra. Campery Virtual Campsite Building, organized in line with the 55th Colombo Campery, which was held virtually December last year. The virtual campsite building was done using Minecraft app. 30 scout troops from the Colombo district built their campsites using the Minecraft app and presented it to Vikas. Eight winners from the subcamps Chrome, Safari, Opera, and Firefox were judged. Moving on. Christmas Carol service. It was also organized and held on, on the 26th December through the YouTube virtually, and 10 scout troops presented their carols by the senior scout Tevinu Senaratna and the rest of the CSA. Now I will pass on to my CSA colleague, senior scout Lavin Dharma Tilaka, to continue the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Starting off with the Stay at Home Challenge. CSAC organized a new digital challenge for the scouts of Colombo while they were at home due to COVID-19 pandemic. Fifteen exciting tasks were introduced and over 100 scouts participated in this challenge. It took place from 23rd of March to 30th of March. Moving on to the next project, a speed online quiz. A speed online quiz was organized by CSAC which held on 2nd of August 2020. The project was shared under myself. The quiz was held under five categories and over 200 scouts took part in the quiz. Moving on, we have done three youth engagement services, namely Colombo Scout Website Feedback Service, Colombo Scout Association Youth Engagement Revision Program Survey, 55th Colombo Campari Expectation Survey. All these surveys were conducted online in order to seek the opinion of young people with regards to matter that affect them. Now I will hand over to Jonathan. As you know, first ever virtual exhibition. Events was organized based environment day celebration. The competition is based on reuse concept, use only waste items. The exhibition was launched on World Environment Day, which included more than 600 exhibitions. Casino Tree Planting Trap, the second stage of Casino World Day celebration by Sri Lanka Scout Association, Colombo District Branch. The tree planting drive was done by the Rover Crew in the Colombo District, 30th Colombo Rover Crew, 78th Colombo Rover Crew, and 50th Colombo Rover Crew. Moving on, we organized an online workshop on professionalism business. Ethic route for the Colombo Scout Youth Advisory Group members making use of the time we had during the first COVID lockdown in Sri Lanka. Moving on to the next project, which is the He for She workshop. On behalf of the Colombo Scout Youth Advisory Group, we are proud to state that we successfully conducted the He for She workshop in collaboration with the United Nations Population Fund and the UN Women to coincide with the International Women's Day celebration, which is for the very first time in the history of scouting in Sri Lanka. The workshop was held on 8th of March 2020 and it was aligned with the Better World Framework and Sustainable Development Goals. Moving on to the next project, the Cultural Exchange Program. The International Cultural Exchange Program was held on 26, 27, and 28th of December 2020, with scouts and rowers joining from Taiwan, Japan, and the United States of America. Jafta District Scouts also took part in it as a part of the Inter-District inter Culture Exchange Program. Moving on to the next project, Lead to Communication 101. The Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group hosted a series of four public speaking sessions titled Lead to Communication 101 at the 55th Colombo Campaign 2020 in collaboration with the District 82 Toastmasters on 26th and 27th of December 2020, virtually to Zoom Cloud Meetings platform. The sessions were conducted in a way in which it covers the content of the speaker and orator proficiency badges, plus the latest techniques 
used in public speaking endorsed by the Toastmasters in Dehan. Even though we had a challenging year in overall, it was indeed a productive year for the Scouts and Rovers, especially in Colombo. On behalf of the Colombo Scout Youth Advisory Group, we would like to thank all the individuals who helped us in this success, and we wish the very best to the upcoming CSI. Thank you. Thank you, my friends, for setting a challenging benchmark for us, the current CSI Act to pursue. Let's now get to know a bit in detail about our next pillar, the monthly troop leaders and rover mates meetings from our present CSI Act chairperson, Senior Scout, Ms. Ubaidur Rahman. Thank you, Maya. The monthly troop leaders and rover mates meeting are an integral part of the global scout communication strategy, which creates a platform for two-way communication between troop leaders and rover mates, as well as the district officials. From the time we launched these troop leaders and rover mates meeting in February 2020, we have held it monthly, either as physical meetings, either as virtual meetings, depending on pandemic situation in a country. These meetings are usually held on every third Wednesday of the month. Over the past one and a half years, we have seen more and more troop leaders and role mates attending those meetings and getting added to our Columbus Scouts to leaders and roaming database. Thank you, Vedan Rahman. But before we but, but before we move on, I would like to remind you that the meeting uh, interpretations or translations are available for this webinar in Sinhalese and Tamil. And if you wish to listen to the webinar in Sinhalese or Tamil, please enable interpretation from the icon in the panel at the bottom of your screen. Let me say this in Sinhala as well. When the webinar is in Sinhala, in Tamil, in Parivartan, Laba, Gata, Hacky, Atara, in the Sinhala, in the Demel, in the webinar, in the Sinhala, in the Sinhala, in the Sinhala, in the at the interpretation icon, with that said, the third CSI, three CSI subcommittees established in order to give more young people the opportunity to get involved at district level initiatives with the Colombo Scout Youth Advisory Group, not only empowers the young people, but creates a platform for international dialogue between the young scouts and the district officials, such as assistant district commissioners and district scout leaders. So let's hear from us, subcommittee chairpersons and the sub sub subject ADCs in charge of these subcommittees. Hi, I'm Krishi Gautam Ganesh Kumar, and I'm the chairperson of the International Subcommittee of the Colombo Scout Youth Advisory Group. I will be giving a brief description about the International Subcommittee, about its projects and what we do. Our subcommittee runs under the guidance of ADC International, Mr. Rohita Stainboy, and District Scout Leader, Mr. M. Brisby. Our goal is to promote the Scouts of Colombo to take part in international events and learn different cultures while building friendships which last for a lifetime. Currently, we are working on a campaign to promote the Scouts of Colombo to take part and do the International Friendship Badge by making easy guides and videos and uploading them in our website so that the Scouts will be having easy access to it and they can also pass the badge easily. Next, we are working on the Jota Joti program which will be held next month. Currently, we are working hard to get nearly all the scouts in Colombo to register for this event. Closing near the event, we will be sharing more guides and videos on how to take part in activities and about the history of the event, etc. We also have some interesting upcoming events lined up such as the ICC trophy, subcommittee training, etc. 
we will be working on these projects by giving a maximum potential and also not forgetting to have fun. Thank you. Hi, I'm. Hi, I'm Rohit Stainwall, the Assistant District Commissioner International of the Colombo District Branch. I am happy to say that the International Subcommittee of the SLAC function under my guidance and during the past few months, I have, been, I have seen firsthand what young people can do for betterment of scouting. I given the opportunity and the right guidance, it's very exciting for us as adults to listen to listen to the ideas of young people from different generation and also to see how they how they go about their work which different from how we used to work during the age but it's an interesting experience of the marketing subcommittee under the Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group. The first project we took on as a marketing subcommittee was the marketing for the Poson Poya Banner and Betty program, which we concluded successfully. Next, we took on the marketing for the 10th Columbus Cup Holiday Camp, which is a major project, and we were able to execute our marketing plans with tremendous success, getting over 4,000 participants to join this event. Currently, we are working on with the International Subcommittee for the marketing of the Jotagara Jamboree. Also, we've been creating some content and updating it on the Columbus Scout social media pages to keep the pages reach high and uh, to educate and give the knowledge to many of the Columbus Scouts so that they are updated and safe. Also, we had uh, concluded a workshop on marketing with the subcommittee members to educate and give them everything which needs to be uh, able to execute a successful marketing plan. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Bilal Akbar, the chairperson of the Technology Subcommittee. The Technology Committee is a subcommittee of the Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group. This committee consists of 10 scouts who work on the recommendations proposed by the scouts who participated at the third Columbus Scout Youth Forum. This committee runs under the guidance of ADC, Mr. Mural Kriang. We have divided our committee into three teams to work on the recommendations. They are the developing team, the maintenance and e-commerce team, and the digital library team. Out of the five recommendations, we have successfully completed two of them and are currently working on the third recommendation. Conducted a workshop for the members of the technology subcommittee. The workshop, was conducted on 27 June 2021 via Zoom platform. The members of the Columbus Scout Youth Adversary Group also attended the workshop. This program gave the audience a very good understanding about HTML, web developing, and coding. Developing and maintaining the e-commerce website. The e-commerce website was successfully launched on 31st August 2021. During the current situation in the country, scouters can order the goods online and have them deliver it at their doorstep. Development and maintenance of the Columbus Scout website. The members of the committee are currently undergoing webinars in order to gain the maximum knowledge and work on maintaining the website. Very soon, we will be able to complete the remaining two recommendations, which are development of digital scout library and database for community service project. Thank you. Uh, we are Priyanka, the ADC in charge of media, VR, and IT for the whole street. Uh, there are two uh, sub committees of uh, CSZ, Colombo Scout Group Advisory Group, under me. I was very excited when, uh, as part of my team. This, this sort of uh, opportunities provides a very dynamic space for them to initiate, develop, create, unlock their potentials and overcome challenges. And so, me, it's a, 
it's simply an amazing feeling to do and share whatever I have with uh, these uh, youngsters. And uh, sometimes I learn from them. It's a learning experience for both them and me. I like it. Thank you all for those insights. It's great to hear all the amazing work you all are doing as subcommittees. Now let's look at the next pillar in our youth engagement strategy, fostering external partnerships. To take you through this part, I would like to invite a young scout leader and a member of Kalamu district team, Ray, that is the Kalamu district team on rowing and youth engagement, Mr. Shehan Salim. Thank you, Maya. Fostering external partnerships is an important aspect of our youth engagement strategy. Even though we brand ourselves as the world's leading educational youth organization at a global level, scouting is considered as an organization, an organization for school, school, children, school children by the vast, by the majority, vast majority of, of Sri, Lanka. Sri Lankans. So it is important, so it is important that, that we link up, we link up, level up, up other youth organizations in the country, country, and, country and be among youth among youth circles, circles locally, locally to build a to build a reputation as a as a state youth organization. organization. With this intention, with this intention in mind, in we, mind, have, we have been partnering, been partnering with multiple, multiple, multiple youth related, 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 related international, international local and local organizations. Organization. We have been partnering, have been with, partnering with multiple with agencies, agencies, such agencies such as the Garden Nation, Garden Nation volunteers, volunteers for the, for the Colombo, Colombo Camper Youth, Camper Camper Youth Days, Days, the UNFPA, UNFPA for input sessions, input sessions at the Columbus at the Columbus Columbus Forum. Youth Forums. UN Women, UN Women for the Kifa Shi Workshop we conducted at the UN Compound to mark the Women's Day in 2020. We also maintain, we also maintain strong, strong partnerships with host 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 national, national district, national district who, has, who has been one of, been one of our, knowledge our knowledge partners, partners, partners at the 55th of Colombo last year, last year hosting, hosting a series of, series of public, public workshops, speaking workshops, workshops for our campery participants. participants, as well as, as, well as the ISAC at, at University of Sridharvathapura, with whom we have signed a memorandum of understanding to partner with their income and global volunteer program. We were able we were to able revive to and strengthen our relationship, our relationship, with, relationship with, with our sister organization, our sister organization uh, Sri Lanka uh, Sri Lanka Girls Girl 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 last year. With Sri Lanka guys, Sri Lanka guys and Rangers, guys and Rangers taking part in the Youth Day after the Trip Kalamu Kampani 2020. 2020. We have partnered, we have partnered with, with multiple other multiple organizations, organizations such as Otorai, Otorai, Aztec, Aztec, Denver, Generation, Generation, Generation Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, Coast Guard, Coast Guard Sri Lanka, Red, Sri Lanka Cross, Red Cross, Ashoka Foundation, Ashoka Foundation and, and Habitat for Habitat Humanity, Humanity and, and High Sri Lanka, Hype Sri Lanka name, a few, name a few. Thank you, Mr. Salim. Next, let us quickly move to the final pillar in our youth engagement strategy, rovering to success. And in order to present to you the Colombo Rover strategic priorities 2021-2023, I would like to invite rover mate of 75th Colombo District Rover Crew, Rover Scout, Sinal Jayawardhan. Thank you, Muad. As some of you may know, there are nine rover crews active in the Colombo district at the moment, and the we Colombo rovers have seven strategic priorities for the period of 2021 to 23, which guide all these nine rover crews in everything they do as rovers and rover crews. Building the brand of rovers within and outside the scouting community is our first priority, and the work we have done in this regard during the past one and a half years has brought us the great result, which is evident with the number of new row crews and that are being integrated during the past year or so. We maintain this row crew as a benchmark for all the other eight row crews in the district, and we strive to strike a balance of quality and quantity where we do not compromise on quality over quantity. Both sponsored and open row crews are empowered to be the best version of themselves within the administrative excellence agenda driven by the district rover scout management team. The young Colombo rovers has been a great strength to the scouting in Colombo, where they have contributed immensely through talent placement done in organizing committees of Colombo Campery, Colombo Cup Holiday Camp, and so on, as well as being part of district executive committee, CSEC, CSEC, subcommittees, etc. Simply put, 
Rovering in Colombo is all about supporting young people to be innovative, self-fulfilled, and future ready, grooming them to be happy and active citizens, playing an influential role in the each aspect of their adult life. Thank you, Sanal. Let us now watch a video highlighting the work our rovers did during the year 2020. Some amazing work done by Rovers last year. So much of work done to promote youth engagement. And you may want scouting by everyone involved scouting across the globe last year when the COVID-19 pandemic took the world by storm. It was the adaptability and the innovation of young people in scouting with the support of the adult leaders that kept the scouting spirit alive. So to speak about some of the initiatives that the young people in Colombo took as soon as the lockdowns were imposed in Sri Lanka, which set an example for everyone else, I invite chairman of Colombo Scouting Advisory Group for the year 2020-2021, senior scout Chamod Biswajit, to, to, together with Rover Scout Sinal Jaiwardhana. Thank you, Maya. As you may remember, Sri Lanka went into its first lockdown 
now with the COVID-19 pandemic on 20th March 2020. And with the Columbus Scout Youth Advisory Group, we were able to think of our feet and innovative ground activity, Sri Lanka Scouting. The Columbus Scout Stay at Home Challenge within three days by 23rd March 2020. So the agility and adaptability of young scouts in Colombo and showed the scouts and leaders around the country that the scouting spirit could be kept alive even the, during lockdown, which was a con new concept for us Sri Lankans. Following up this project, we, we were able to do convert the Singhala and Hindu New Year celebration we were planning to organize as a physical event to a fully virtual event in April 2020, which turned up to a massive success and a novel digital experience for everyone in scouting. So now I would like to hand over to Shanalaya back again to share the amazing work they did during the first lockdown last year. Thank you, Chamod. As Chamod said, Sri Lanka went into the first work lockdown on 20th March 2020. And we, the 17th Colombo District Row crew, was able to host Sri Lanka's first ever virtual campfire by the 2nd of April 2020, organized in order to keep the scouting spirit alive among the Colombo scout. This virtual campfire managed to set the tone in Sri Lankan scouting when it came to live streaming in scouting events. The following massive success of this virtual campfire, 75th Columbus District Crew, crew launched the Columbus Rovers Scouting Webinar Series in April 2020, which was again a first of its kind in Sri Lankan scouting that inspired many webinars and webinar series Sri Lankan scouting afterwards. Scouts ended the year 2020 with a bang. That is by offering virtual multi day event and the first virtual scout camp in Sri Lankan scouting history, the 55th Colombo Campery. And did you know that the idea to have this virtual campery came from a Rover Scout? I guess you didn't. So to speak about it, I'm going to invite back Rover Scout Sinal Jayawardhan. Yes, Maud was right. The magical idea for organizing a virtual camp rally came from a rover scout of my rover crew, the 75th Colombo District Rover Crew. It definitely was a light bulb moment that was sparked by rover scout Nilukshan Krishna Ram. I call it a spark because it traveled in light speed from Nilukshan to AD0 when youth engagement, Mr. Supunjala, and from him to our district commissioner and back with an approval to hold the prestigious Colombo Campari for its 55th installment virtually. And yes, this idea that came from a scout became a reality in just six weeks, surprising the entire scouting fraternity in Sri Lanka. Is this the pinnacle of youth engagement Sri Lanka scouting to date? I think it is. Thank you, Sanalaya. We spoke about appointing two youth representatives to our executive committee before. We started this practice way back in 2006, 2007, and most of the young people to be appointed to these positions went on to serve the district in adult reader roles, either as uniformed or lay members, doing a massive service to the district. So let's bring back those memories of theirs and speak to some of the very first youth representatives to be appointed to our exco. The Colombo District branch of the Sri Lanka Scout Association always provided various opportunities to young leaders. And that is why I'm here today sharing my experience with you. For me, it started with the tsunami in 2004. With the tragedy that struck the coastal belt of Sri Lanka, the association invited volunteers to come forward in rebuilding lives. Back then, I volunteered in most initiatives. And as a result, we were able to form the Petrol Leaders Council Chairman's Forum 
where I became the founding vice chair. Eventually, I was invited to serve in the executive committee of the Colombo District Branch for a couple of years, and later was appointed as the honorary secretary of the branch association. In these various leadership roles, I had the privilege of working with adult leaders and lay members of the association, hand in hand, and at times challenging stereotypes and breaking new ground. Today, with all that experience I've gained by working in the Colombo District Branch Association, I'm able to widen the depth and the breadth of my professional career. Most importantly, with the connections that I have made here today in the association, have opened up new horizons in my life. I'm Asan Jayapodi, one of the first two youth representatives appointed to the Colombo District Executive Committee in 2008. I was also appointed the district coordinator of Petrol Leaders Council Chairman's Forum and the Rover Mate of District Rover Group. This allowed me to lead various events such as sports gala, workshops, rover modes, and even the first Colombo Youth Forum and second National Youth Forum. Looking back, I believe becoming the youth representative at Exco paved me the way to become an empowered leader. When I was a Rover Scout, I was privileged to become the youth representative for the executive committee of Colombo District Branch. Since then, I was empowered to become the district coordinator for Messengers of Peace, as well as I achieved the VP award and was a Scout Master for more than nine years, which I was able to produce more than nine President Scouts. Today, I act as a district rover scout master for Colombo District Scout Association. Hi, I'm Dishanti Sano, currently volunteering as a district rover scout leader in Colombo. After completing school scout life in 2011, I joined the 75th Colombo District Rover Crew. Then, after the first Colombo District Youth Forum 2015, I got the opportunity to join the Colombo District Branch Executive Committee as a youth representative. From the year 2020, I am serving as a district rover scout leader, and the exposure I got as a youth rep to the ESCO helped me kickstart my journey as a DRS without any additional learning time as I exposed to how the district was managed from my days at the ESCO. Thank you all. So now it's time to launch the YPALS, the YAGMAG newsletter, which includes the initiatives and projects carried out by the Colombo Scout Youth Advisory Group during the first half of our tenure from April to September 2021. The link to access the newsletter is now available in the Zoom chat. and You can refer to it at the end of this webinar. Now it's time for the most awaited moment that is a speech of our chief guest today, Mr. Rajiva Piris, the International Commissioner of Sri Lanka Scout Association. The screen is yours. Hi, District Commissioner, Assistant District Commissioners, all commissioners from headquarters, uh, members of the Executive Committee and office parents, parents, well wishers, scouts, Cubs, Singhites, uh, Scouts. Thank you very much for inviting me for this occasion as the chief guest. It is indeed a happy event to come to Palambo uh, because it's like going home. Because most of my scouting was done in Colombo. Um, the Camperies, I have fond memories. I think the first one I can remember is 1974 when I came as a scout. From then on, it was uh, uh, almost back to back every campery uh, until I finished, uh, started doing my postgraduate education. So today's uh, focus is on youth engagement. What is youth engagement? The youth engagement is of course uh, giving youth a place that they deserve uh, to get involved in making responsible decisions for themselves and for their communities. It uh, involves youth in planning 
and making decisions that affect themselves and the entire community. So why is this important? Now, if the youth are given a chance to engage uh, and get involved in this kind of process, they themselves developed, the communities developed, the communities developed towards the future. Also, uh, the youth, they will learn very important skills, knowledge on things like human rights and citizenship. And everything will go to make a very fine and uh, pleasant society. So what can society and leaders and commissioners do to improve this youth involvement, youth engagement? Firstly, you have to, in, you have, to uh, have a mindset. You have to build a positive accepting atmosphere. Uh, then uh, you have to involve the youth. You have to get them into planning, into decision-making, into giving feedbacks. You have to encourage them, guide them, and have nothing in uh, mind except their welfare and your ideas for your community. Now, as for youth, what do you have to do? You have to, again, change your mindset, be proactive, and uh, you have to be ready. Prepare yourself to take responsibility as leaders of the future. You have to build relationships, not only with your friends, your peers, but also your juniors and your elders. You have to encourage exploration, encourage discovery, and most of all, there should be self-expression. Uh, self-expression is very important. You may be having a Nobel Prize winning idea inside you, but if you don't express it and you go to the grave with it, you will never win that Nobel Prize. So not only has the, the society to accept what you're saying, but you have to say it first. Remember that it is very important. You have to instill skills in you. You have to learn new skills, develop what you have, provide leadership. Uh, you have to get yourself leadership training, leadership opportunities, and become a leader in society. So this is how, in short, we could all get together and engage our youth for a meaningful future. This is a very timely topic, and I thank the Colombo District for pioneering this uh, effort to get this into the Scout agenda. So have a good evening, enjoy yourselves, have fun, learn, and definitely get engaged in the future. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your valuable inputs and being our chief guest today. We heard all about youth engagement in Colombo today, and we believe that we have walked the talk in terms of youth engagement during the last one and a half years, and we intend to expand on the development so far by taking action to further empower the patriot leaders councils in the district so that youth involvement and engagement is taken to the scout troop level as well. Hope this webinar was insightful and helpful you to understand the importance of youth engagement in scouting and how to champion it. So with that note, we will wrap up the second day of the Scout Week 2021 organized by the Sri Lanka Scout Association. And we thank all the Scout Commissioners, leaders, parents, well wishes, and most importantly, our brother and sister Scouts for participating today. Hoping to see you tomorrow evening with another webinar. Until then, thank you and good night.